Greetings, friends. Um, Ravenflower here. I am going to be doing some uh, work. I've been very busy this morning. I have been making smudge sticks and all different kinds of things from my garden. So um, be on the lookout for those. Um, they are drying and looking pretty awesome. So I may do a video about that because um, there's different smudge sticks for different things. And according to different cultures, uh, you can, um, you know, use different herbs you know, for different effects. But um, I wanted to show you, I'm working on a frankincense oil and a myrrh oil. I also have done a sage oil here, a California mountain sage oil, and I've already packaged that up. Um, this guy here is going to be setting, so it's like, um, oh, my candle. Um, so it's going to be basically, you know, herb infused oils. They, they get to be quite pungent. Um, they work very similar to a tincture. I have one here for a clove, and I have another one for rosemary. My rosemary oil is pretty powerful stuff. Um, I let it sit for a good long time. Um, I, there is a heat method that I have found that uh, works a little better to release uh, the oils or well, well, the oils into the oils. So the, the rosemary will start to release a little bit better. Um, and these herbs, at least the rosemary and the sage, the sage has come from uh, my dad's ranch. So that is my, you know, very sacred to me. And the rosemary also has come from my dad's ranch as well as my garden. So this one means a whole lot to me. Um, I have these candles on there for different purposes. Um, different people use different things or different colors for different things. Uh, I, there is no right. There is no wrong. You probably can't see these. Uh, they're very light. Uh, let's see. What else? I also am working on a saffron oil as well. I don't know if you can see that, but that's going to be really, really super cool. I'm excited about that one. Um, before you do anything, so basically I wanted to show you how I go about making my frankincense oil. Frankincense I use for a whole lot of stuff. And I wanted to also show you my myrrh oil, which I haven't done before. So this is new to me, but I did get a request for that. So um, shout out to you. Before you do anything, or at least before I do anything, you do what you want. Understand that, you know, rule number one of this path is do what feels right to you. Do what feels right to you. And then second is do your research. So don't just take someone's word for it. Uh, do your research and see what feels, you know, feels right to you. Um, I always, when working with anything, I, I want you to know that I've already smudged these, these bottles were smudged. Um, I put um, smoke in it, very similar to how Lady Grave Dancer does hers, where, you know, I inhale the smoke a little bit, you know, a little bit of the sage, uh, and uh, blow it into the actual bottles. I've done that with these. And I'm getting ready to, you know, do the rest of it. Um, so I was like, what I'm, what I'm saying, I'm like all over the place. I um, probably need to eat lunch here soon. But I have a black candle and I have a white candle going. I do that with everything. So let's get going. So I have some frankincense already in there. And I have a little bit of frankincense um, essential oil in there as well. Um, it's not cheap. <laughs> if you've looked up 100% frankincense oil, you, you'll probably find you'll be like, you'll croak. Um, it's really not that bad, but I mean, it, it isn't, you know, as, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's not as, um, inexpensive as you might think. Um, the now brand generally is a cut of, um, frankincense as well as, um, some other mixture. Um, I am using almond oil as a base. It's a, um, it doesn't clog your pores. I generally use this on my skin. I use frankincense for a myriad of things. And I just said that because I just wanted to use that word. It's the word of the day, a myriad of things. Uh, for me, frankincense helps a whole lot. I have uh, osteoarthritis. I have um, hurt my knees, hurt my hip. I have uh, done some bad stuff to myself as I was <laughs> growing up. But I also have, um, you know, some pain in my hands and, and whatnot. So I generally use this. I'll put it in a roller bottle or I'll have, you know, like a little dropper. And I keep it beside my bed. And before I go to bed, I will rub it into my joints. And it does 
a couple of things. It actually helps me, um, it helps me ground. Uh, this is my number one grounder. Uh, also clove oil, this guy here, helps me ground immediately. Uh, with this guy also for frankincense, it, um, oh, I can read you what the book says. The book says that it uh, frankincense oils, cleanses aura, enhances psychic power, and it's an energizer. And for that reason, I'm using a purple candle. Purple represents, or lavender, a spiritual d development, psychic growth, divination, and the other world. So I think that the two of them, to me, work very well together. And since I'm asking um, the powers that be to aid me in this work, I think this is perfect for this. Um, I was also going to tell you more about this frankincense. Okay, so frankincense, frankincense can do a lot of things for, there's, there's health benefits and then there's also, and which I think I have touched on other videos and I know for certain a uh, lady grave dancer has, if not, then, you know, Sunshine Morning Ray or Ember Honey Raven. Um, there's lots of videos out there in pertaining to various herbs and things. So I encourage you not to just watch my own. Watch watch some other channels and, and get yourself a good um, idea of what other people's viewpoints are. So as, as I was saying, okay, so almond oil, good for the skin. Frankincense, good for the joints and also good for grounding. I also feel that it's a really good protector for me. Um, rosemary oil, sage Clove, clove is generally also for money. Um, cinnamon as well is a good one for that. But frankincense, frankincense is kind of my go-to. I love it. Uh, so it's it's on me all the time. So I am going to take, as you can see, I've already put a couple of, um, not a couple, there's quite a few in there, of uh, some frankincense resin in there. And I have this big tub here. So you guys can see that. Big tub filled with frankincense. Look at that guy. Big old tub. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to take some here. And I just put a little scoop, a little scoop of handful. I'm, I'm, I kind of cook like that too. A little pinch of this, a little pinch of that. Um, that's, that's how I do. Uh, measuring cups for me is <laughs> not a good thing. Um, which is really odd because, um, you know, you think I would like order, but I kind of go with the feel of things. Mm -hmm. So I have it in my mortar and pestle, and I have a pretty strong mortar and pestle. This is um, my, uh, I think this is soapstone or marble. I'm not sure. I think it's marble. But this works real well. You don't want to be using a wooden mortar and pestle, uh, base or, or mocajete, if you will, because uh, the resin is harder than the wood, and that doesn't work out so well. So... I'm going to smash this up, and as I'm doing that, I'm going to pause the camera because as I'm doing that, I'm going to be putting my intentions into that, singing a little bit, enchanting, and um, pour, pouring my intentions into this resin as I'm working it, okay? So I'll be right back. Pause. Look at that. We're almost there. We're getting there. I probably used way too much, but I will also use it in other things too, so... Fear not. This this stuff does not go to waste. So I just keep going to town here, making a mess, and putting my intentions in. Back again. Okay, so we've gotten it pretty much into a powder. Something you should know that I also, as I place this in here, I'm going to once I the. The customer or the person who needs this oil, um, you know, it's ready for delivery or whatnot. I transfer it, I actually strain it out and uh, add a couple of uh, resins for, in the bottle of, of their oil. Let me see if I have one. I think I might. I have one here that I use. Okay. And it kind of looks like this. So, I don't know if you can see that real well. Can you see it there better? So there's little resin in here, and then they can just take their their dropper and you know take what they need, which is wonderful. So, and that's a full ounce right there. So that's what the, it looks after. So you're not going to see all this you know mishigosh because I strain it out, and I strain it out pretty good. All right. So 
there is that. I have a, I'll bring over my bottle. <sighs> Put my intentions there. Just pour, my, just pour my love in there. Mm, give it what it needs. Kind of hard to do this and talk at the same time. Okay. Then I have my little funnel. You guys can see that. And I pour in some of my powder. And that's probably pretty good right there. So I have that much left over. Got something blocking the way. Okay, so there's that. Put that aside. So as you can see in there, look at all that. Oh, it smells good, you guys. Oh, it smells so yummy. Okay, so now I add my almond oil. This almond oil has already been blessed. It's been under the moon. Um, so I just go ahead and use this. It's already been done. Every, most everything has already been pre-prepared just for the sake of the time in the video because that would be a very long video if I had to do that. And I just pour it in because I have this little spout and it works real well. I say that and then I dribble on the side. All right, so I fill it up and I do leave a little bit of room at the top because I need to shake it. I need to shake it like a Polaroid picture. That's what I need to do. Okay, so again, final blessings, final love. Put that in there. I usually set my stuff with a circle star, a pentagram. Which if you don't know what a pentagram means, then you should look that up too. Okay, and there it is. Oil. So this is gonna set, and it's gonna set for a good long while. This guy should set for at least, oh gosh, I wanna say it should really set for two weeks, if not four. Four is better, the longer it sets, the more potent it is. You can see how cloudy this one looks. You can see how clear this one looks after you strain it out. You see that? Look at how clean clear that is. So that almond oil is great for your skin as well as the frankincense for the um, inflammation and all of the magical properties we were talking about. So there's that. Okay, so now I just do this number at the end and I place it on top so I kind of burn the bottom of the candle and get it um, nice and sort of muddy and then I just place it right there on the top and now I've blessed I've blessed the bottle I prepared the bottle I've smudged the bottle I have done kind of the same thing with my ingredients then I pour the blessings and pour, pour my intentions inside the bottle, put on the cap, light the can, and then, you know, put the candle on top, and then I light the candle, and then I let it do its work. Then I let it do its work, and it will get grody and kind of run down the sides, and that's okay. That's fine. This is just your setup bottle. This is your finished product. You can put a label on there. You can do whatever you need to. Um, I, what I like to do, um, or the reason why I do put the little resins in there is I, I can completely see it. I have another one for clove and I'll put a couple of cloves or, in there because I actually just like looking at them, you know, moving around in the oil. I really like it. And it's easy for me, for my personal use, to um, go, oh, that's my frankincense. I don't need to label them. However, when you're working, when you're working on the actual oils, notice that I labeled that. What oil I used, it's Mr. Frank and the date because that has to 
do its thing. I need to know how old it is so that I know how many weeks have gone by. So there's that, you guys. And so now I'm going to light these other ones and let them do their thing. This one here is clove. And that one's, I mean, you can see some cloves up in there. I like that one. Clove is generally used, and I can read from the book if you would like me to. Clove, where are you? Of course, I say let's read from the book, and then I can't seem to find it when I need it. <laughs> okay, cinnamon. Where's my clove? Of course. I'm telling you, that's the, my biggest problem with this book is that it, I've got to like reorganize it a little better. If I could just reorganize it just a bit, that would be awesome. Well, okay, clove, I'm going to tell you right now, um, clove is great for grounding, excellent for grounding. Um, this oil is very helpful in a little bit of a ro roller bottle. I'll, uh, roller bottle? Blah, blah, blah. Roller bottle. Uh, again, I strain it out. There's actually um, ground clove at the bottom and then, you know, actual real cloves there and a little bit of essential oil, not much. You don't really need much because it's very potent. Um, now, this is one that you may not want to put on your skin. A lot of people are a little sensitive and clove is pretty strong, so you want to be careful with that. You don't ingest any of this. Is I'm not a doctor. Um, make sure, you know, um, as far as your frankincense oil, you know, if you're having troubles with arthritis and things like that, talk to your doctor about it, but do your research. Don't just take my word for it. Um, that's my, that's my legal disclaimer. So there is my clove oil. Here is saffron. Let's start her. My rosemary. Yes, I have a red candle on the rosemary. Why do I have a red candle on the rosemary? Well, red is a fire element and it's strength, power, energy, health, vigor, courage, passion. Yes, sexuality. Yes, all those other stuff, but I didn't, I don't need that for this. Rosemary is also very protective. So super, super duper protective. So that's why I used that. There, now I, oh, my last one, this sage, giving me grief. I may want to rework this just a bit. So Sage, I've got a lavender candle on as well because I really feel that there's the connection with, with spirit. Um, when you burden Sage, when, you, when I smell Sage, when I Sage anything, it's definitely a connection to spirit. So I'm going to light that one if it will allow me. And it has. And there you go, guys. So these guys are gonna set up for a good long time. If you have any questions, please put them in the down bar. I'm gonna get going here on my myrrh, and I need to clean out my mortar and pestle because I don't like to cross-contaminate anything. And that's how I make my oil for my shop. So if anybody's interested in oils, I've got lots of different things going right now, and soon I will be putting um, sizes and prices and all that other stuff on there. So um, let me know. Let me know what you guys are needing. What are you needing in your life? Um, how can some of these oils help? Um, just talk to me. Message me. All right. Many blessings, you guys. There's lots of videos that are going to be happening this this weekend. So hang tight. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Many blessings today.